What is going on, my PJ Boy Versatile is back with a video. Back, it might be quick, we'll see. But I'm back with what's in my tech bag 3.0, technically now my new camera bag. And that is the Peak Design Everyday Bag 20 liter version one. I got a great deal on this through uh, Peak Design themselves through a, a local uh, reseller. And uh, I saved about 100, almost 100 bucks on it. It was actually about 90 bucks <clears throat> on this bag because I'm issuing out all the V1s because V2 is now taking their place. And boy, what a story I got to tell for you guys about how I got this. <clears throat> I ordered this a week ago, basically Thursday night. It got shipped out on Friday and it was supposed to be here the following Monday, which is about four days ago. Well, <clears throat> due to some discrepancies, either in my address or the label, this bag went to Greenville and Greensboro from Spartanburg, which is only an hour away from Rock Hill, and went to Greensboro, Greenville, Charlotte, then back to Spartanburg, just to come back to Rock Hill to deliver me the bag today, Thursday. So it took a week to get this bag. Now, why did I get this bag? You guys already know. I've been doing a lot in uh, the uh, photography world, buying uh, lenses, I got a camera, and so I wanted to get something that I can actually carry around with me all the time, and I can carry my camera gear, so that way I have more excuses to use my camera and never miss a shot. And so that's what I got this bag for. So I wanted to kind of show you or detail you guys what's actually <clears throat> like in the bag or what, why this is a good carrying bag for me or for people who want to carry a lot of their stuff and have the space for it. So in the top here, you guys can see that slit open right there. That's my tablet. This can hold a tablet and I think up to a 13 inch laptop, maybe 15 inch. But there's also an additional pocket in here that you probably couldn't see. And that's right there. If you see that red piece there towards the bottom, <clears throat> that's my Galaxy Buds Plus. There's another additional pocket that I can actually put other stuff. So I got my cleaning cloth and my Galaxy Buds Plus right there. And then if I close the zipper now, because I'm not going to take it out, <clears throat> I'm going to now unhook this part, this magnetic clip here, which is so dope if my table doesn't end up. And I don't, I have my, there's another slot right here. <clears throat> there's another slot where my finger is right here. So you could put, wall, uh, I had my wallet in that other pocket I showed you, but I could put it here. I could put my ID badge for work here. I could put, you know, other, like some, something else kind of small right here. And it's a, a nice size pocket that you can put stuff in. Now this is how you get the top view into the bag. And I'm kind of struggling with the bag, kind of heavy without everything. Those are my headphones right there. It's actually taking up part of the pockets that you can access via the side. And so that's what we're about to do right now. I'm about to hook this back. <clears throat> Boom, and actually unzip one of the sides. Now, the nice part about this bag is it's water resistant <clears throat> and it works well with Peak Design's own capture clip that I have already now installed on this bag. So now when I decide to screw in the capture clip piece or plate onto the bottom of my camera, now I don't have to have my camera in here, I can just hook it right here. <clears throat> now I hope that, or I wish that Peak Design had a capture plate that allowed an additional screwing from the bottom. Cause then I would leave it on my camera all the time so I can screw it in on my tripod and not have any issues. And then it could just sit there right on it. On this side, these pockets are big enough to fit big water bottles. And you got these additional straps that you can actually use to lock in what you have in on the sides. So right now I got my Manfrotto mini tripod right there. And this pocket is currently empty. But again, like I said, you got even bigger clips like this as well on the inside that you can use to help secure stuff. And that's what this bag really is for, like hiking or anything like that. Or if you want to carry a tripod on you, uh, additional like gear, you got all these straps on the bag and you got these nooks and crannies that you can use to actually lock in stuff so that way you can carry stuff outside of just your camera gear inside the bag. You can actually carry stuff on the outside and tie them up well. There's even like additional clips here on the bottom uh, of the bag or that's part of the arm straps or shoulder straps that you can use to secure your tripod or other traveling gear to the bag so that way this bag is your is all you need to carry your stuff. And so that's one of the reasons why I got it because it's waterproof, the seals are dope, the material feels good, the build quality is great. And even inside, hopefully nothing falls out, but even inside, once 
Oh, by the way, these zipper clips here can clip onto the bag, I think right here, so you can actually secure your stuff so people can't actually tug and get into your bag. Because only, there's another clip, but I think you can do the same thing on the bottom here as well. You can actually, you know, undo this piece, fold it to this piece of the bag right here, and you can actually secure your luggage. So upon opening this here, this side is like my normal stuff. So I got my filters in here, I got my cleaning cloth back there. This one has my spray tools, and then this is where part of the other part of the headphone that you saw from the top view. That's this side. And then right here is additional stuff I have in here. And this is very good, very nice premium build quality. Now I've only had this for like a few hours, so I'm still learning about the bag as I go, but I'm very I'm very satisfied with what I'm able to fit in here right now. I wish the pockets on this other side were a little wider or deeper so I can actually fit my cables in there easily, but they're easier. But it seems like they're like for like your SD cards and stuff. Now in here, as you guys can see, I got uh, my charger right here. I got another charger that I can plug in. So if my camera battery's dying, I got, if I'm near an outlet, I can plug it in and charge. And then I also got a mobile charger that I could also use to charge my camera if need be right here. And I've showed you this before, it's my Rave Power um, 10,000 milliamp. And then I got my ID badge right here in this pocket. And I like the, the detail and the color, like the little color accent is very nice. You see my pins over here and a laser pointer. And then as I said, my ID badge fits in this other big pocket that I could actually utilize for something else. But right now, that's all I have to, to actually fit in there. So, if you guys want to know a little bit more about those filters I have, it's just like a CPL. Uh oh, it's just a CPL filter, a UV filter, and an ND2 filter that I got with the Sony 85 millimeter from Adorama. Now this side is pretty interesting because this is where my camera stuff is and that's why I can be relatively quick. On this side, I got the a7 III right here with the Sigma attached to it. I was testing to see how long the lens I could actually use to store in this area. Then I got my 50 mil right here, my 50 mil and then my 85 right here. And it's, yeah, it's a little like, I gotta figure out how to actually secure it a little bit more, but that's all there. And then in this zipper pocket on this side, I have my wires, my eye drops, and then, yeah, and then my additional cables for charging and stuff like that. And when I get other SD cards and stuff, I'll put them in this pocket right here. But I definitely wanted to, you know, come to you guys real quick because I know my video about to die <laughs> and kind of show you my new bag and what I have in here. And now I can carry my camera gear with me all the time and, and be cool in terms of being able to access my stuff when I'm walking around and stuff. So I can just lean the bag to the side of me and being able to pull it out. And so pull the camera out or whatever. So, and then again, as I said, use a capture plate and use a capture clip pro here to actually secure the camera on my chest when I'm walking around. And the other nice part about this bag is that it's got down here like a, a chest hook. I think that's it right here. A chest hookup that you can use to actually secure like on you. So that way, like if you're not, say if you don't feel as secure with your shoulder straps you can actually strap them even more tighter to your chest and that's my camera bag my peak design 20 liter everyday bag and what it all houses i think after this video i'm gonna kind of adjust the pockets for the uh or the slots uh, the little shelves inside for my lenses but that's what i got going on right now so i thought i'd bring this video to you guys real quick let you guys know that's now in house i'll be using that going forward i'm using my galaxy s20 to shoot this video with the new ring light as my light right now because i just got through with a live stream for my comic mods so if you guys haven't checked that out already go check that out on his channel as well with your boy versatile is signing out and until the next video wait for